Hello everyone and welcome to your 7th JavaScript tutorial. In this lesson we will be learning about arrays and objects in JavaScript. Now, arrays and objects in JavaScript are very important concept in JavaScript. This is because in JavaScript technically everything is an object. Even arrays are special kinds of objects. Everything could be made into objects like your strings, numbers, boolean, arrays everything is object except the primitive values so to begin with let's start with arrays now what are arrays arrays are simply the place containers holders which could be used to store more than one similar values for instance we can create an array in javascript with the help of variable array name and with the within the square angular brackets square brackets sorry we can supply the values for the array. For instance, we created an array name with the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we can access the values with the help of index. Now, if we try to alert this, then it would return us 1 in the browser, as you can see. The next thing is that in arrays in JavaScript, the indexing starts from zero. Not in JavaScript, technically in every language. The indexing starts with zero. That means at the zero index, the first value is stored. At the first is the second value, and the second is the third value, and the third is the fourth value, and so on. Now, next, we created another array, array2 with the value 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and supposingly we want to merge these two arrays within each other so what we'll do is we'll create another final array and we'll do array name dot concat array 2 now what's happening here is in the final array we are storing the concat version of array name and array 2 what it does is in the final array these two will merge that means the final array would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 5 4 3 2 1 let's view it in console As you can see, one two three four five six and six five four three two one. Okay, now let's create an array named programming languages. C. Then comes C plus plus, Java, Python. Ruby and like that. Now, supposingly, we want to sort this array. Then, what we'll do is we'll type the name of the array and we'll assign it a method sort. Now, the sort method, what will it does it? It would sort these array, sort this array, on the basis of the names coming first in the dictionary to the last. If you console.log this and refresh it, oh I guess I had already written a sorted array. Let's write Java here again and PHP here. And then we refresh it as you can see C, C++, Java, Java, PHP, Python and Ruby. This sorts the array. but the problem arises with integers. For instance, let's say we created an array with numbers as 30, 300, 10, 20, 66, 32, 57, 100, 40, and what do you say, 512. Now, when we try to sort this array, it is expected like 30, 20, 30, then 32, 
to 57 or oh, maybe starts with 10 you know what I'm trying to say but when we see the console results it says 10 10 40 20 30 332 which is absolutely wrong now why it is happening in JavaScript this sort method this sort method considered the array as strings string literals and then it sorts the array according to the indexing of the integers even the integers are considered as strings in the sort method of array this sort method now what happened is this sort method considers the array like this and accordingly it sorts the array now according to sort method now the first number should be 10 because 1 is the lowest here then the next number 0 0 is greater then we don't have any number hence this number should be come next then the third number should be 20 because 2 is then greater than 1 then the fourth number should be 30 and so on now to solve this problem we can create our own sort function which accepts the two values supplied by the sort method and then return the difference of those like sort array a and b and we'll simply return a minus b and the sort okay let me just remove the quotes here and let's create a function once more sort array a b and it returns the difference of these two okay in the sort parenthesis we supply our array name now what's happening here is when sort gets this array it passes two first two values or the consecutive values to our function our function accepts these values and integers and returns their difference now what happens is in the first run sort supplies 30 and 300 to our function name our function returns 30 minus 300 that is negative of 270 now negative here means that the second value supplied by the sort is greater than the first value so sort now is now knows that 300 is greater than 30 similarly it runs the check multiple times with our help of our sort function and accordingly arranges the array now if you view this function in the console log now then you should see a nice and sorted array like this if you want to sort the array in descending order then we could do b minus a simple then it would sort, sort, sort the array in the descending order next thing supposingly you want to modify this array and add another value at the end of the array now what would you do is you would do num num dot length is equals to the number you want to supply simple isn't it and if we console dot log and refresh it you can see the r the value is added at the last now what happens here is num dot length now num dot length dot length is the property of every array which returns the number of integers or kind of number of elements in an array now if we do an alert on num dot length it returns 9 we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 the thing to be noted here is length returns mathematical values and it does not start with 0 it start with 1 that is we get the value 30 from this array by using num square brackets and 0 but the length of only this array would be 1 and not 0 actually because num dot length would be always greater than 1 the number of index of arrays in every array so this is similar simply like num dot 9 we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 at the ninth position we can add this value so 
we could simply use num.lint and it would insert this value for us in the array. To remove the first the first array value we could do something like num.shift now what it does is it would remove the very first element of the array not only integers but any array would go if you have an alert box no we don't oh i guess i had to save that okay now you can see that 30 is removed from this array the array starts from 300 next if you want to add to the first position of an array you use the keyword unshift and supplies the element to be added you can see 100 is added here if you want to remove the last element you just do a pop and bang the value is removed as you can see 512 is removed from here if you want to add to the last value the last array you can also use push and my method of num.length both are same and you can see 100 is added to the last okay so this was about arrays in brief coming to objects now objects are very special in JavaScript because everything is object in JavaScript for instance if we do like my string is equal to hello world now this should return string but if we do then this would return yes you guessed it right an object in JavaScript whenever you create something with the keyword new it is automatically assigned an object JavaScript sorry it is also automatically assigned as an object in JavaScript for example if we refresh this page and look at here then the first console log type of returns the string and the second returns object the same is with numbers if I use new number and supply it with any number then it would return object but if I do like this then it would return a number here now if you remember in the beginning of the tutorial I told you in JavaScript you can everything is technically an object except primitive values now what are primitive values here is we are assigning this value directly to the variable now this is a primitive value the primitive way of assigning a value therefore it returns the type of value as number now this is an a kind of object oriented way though JavaScript is not an object oriented language but we use new keyword in object oriented languages like C++ to create new objects new is basically used to create objects in any language and in JavaScript you do new keyword to create new objects okay so coming back to objects you create an object like followed by var keyword your object name then unlike arrays we use square brackets in arrays but in objects we use curly braces this belongs to arrays and this belongs to objects objects are used just like arrays to store multiple values but we have some differences on objects and arrays basically JavaScript objects are containers for named values called properties and methods in JavaScript we could call objects by their properties but in arrays we have to call the elements by their index numbers in arrays in JavaScript we don't have associative arrays okay now let's create an array object name with object one 